While most of us think of Antarctica as an endless expanse of ice and snow, the reality is far more incredible. Scientists have uncovered fossilized forests where dinosaurs once roamed, blood-red waterfalls fed by ancient microbes, and even alien-like bacteria that survive by eating the air itself. So what other mysteries does this frozen continent hold that science has yet to explain fully? Let's look at 15 of the most mind-blowing discoveries that will completely change how you see this frozen wasteland. Antarctica was once unrecognizable from the frozen continent we know today. About 100 million years ago, during a global greenhouse climate, it supported lush forests and dinosaurs. Even near the South Pole, ecosystems adapted to months of winter darkness and continuous summer daylight. When Robert Falcon Scott's team discovered fossil plants on the Beardmore Glacier during their ill-fated return from the South Pole, those specimens revealed that Antarctica was once forested. Later researchers such as Professor Jane Francis of the University of Leeds uncovered layers of fossilized leaves and twigs high on mountain peaks, proof of thriving ancient forests. She was awarded the Polar Medal in 2002 for her work. The youngest fossils, stunted beech shrubs just three to five million years old, marked the final vegetation before Antarctica froze permanently. As David Beerling of the University of Sheffield explains, these plants endured months of total darkness, consuming stored energy to survive. Their success shows how remarkably adaptable life can be, even in the planet's harshest environments. In 2017, researchers from the University of New South Wales studied soils from Antarctica's polar deserts, some of the coldest and driest places on Earth. Using shotgun DNA sequencing, they found microbial communities unlike any seen before. These microbes survive by consuming trace gases from the atmosphere, hydrogen, carbon monoxide, and carbon dioxide, essentially eating air to stay alive. This discovery challenges traditional ideas about the limits of life organisms thriving without sunlight, organic nutrients, or even liquid water suggest that survival depends less on conventional food sources than on adaptability. Such findings expand the range of environments considered potentially habitable beyond Earth. For astrobiology, the implications are profound if microbes can persist in Antarctica's extreme deserts, but similar life forms could exist on planets with thin or hostile atmospheres. The study shows that life is more versatile and resourceful than once imagined, redefining where scientists might search for it in the universe. In Antarctica, a striking phenomenon known as blood falls pours from the Taylor Glacier, its waters stained a vivid red. First observed in 1911 during Robert Falcon Scott's expedition, the cause of its color baffled scientists for decades. Some suggested algae, but later research revealed a far more remarkable explanation. About 1.5 to 2 million years ago, the glacier sealed off a pocket of water, trapping microbes in complete isolation. Cut off from light and oxygen, and surrounded by perpetual cold, these organisms adapted to survive in a hypersaline, iron-rich brine. When this brine escapes through cracks in the ice, its dissolved iron oxidizes upon contact with the air, producing the waterfall's blood-red hue. This discovery demonstrates that life can persist in conditions once thought uninhabitable. In a continent where 98% of the surface is buried under ice up to three miles thick, the McMurdo Dry Valleys form one of the most alien landscapes on Earth. These valleys are virtually ice-free, so stark and dry that NASA uses them as a testing ground for Mars technology. Their strangeness isn't due to warmth but to extreme weather. Catabatic winds, sometimes reaching 200 miles per hour, plunge into the valleys, heating as they descend and stripping away all moisture. The result is a desert more extreme than the Sahara. Yet even here, life persists. Scientists have discovered microbial communities living inside rocks, shielded from the brutal winds and surviving on the barest resources. These findings have reshaped our understanding of the limits of life, suggesting it might exist in environments once thought sterile, even on other planets. Nearby McMurdo Station, the largest Antarctic base hosts 1,000 to 5,000 researchers each year who continue to probe the secrets of this extraordinary landscape. In 1513, Ottoman Admiral Piri Reis created a map on gazelle skin parchment that has fascinated historians for centuries. The surviving fragment, 
about 35x24 inches, shows parts of South America and Africa, but some claim it also depicts the northern coast of Antarctica, nearly 300 years before its official discovery in 1820. The puzzle deepens because the landmass appears ice-free and connected to South America, even though scientific evidence shows Antarctica has been ice-covered for millions of years. In the mid-20th century, historian Charles Hapgood suggested that the Peary Rise map was based on far older source material, possibly dating to a time before 4000 BC, but raising questions about ancient knowledge and cartography. Skeptics counter that the supposed Antarctic coast is simply a distorted view of South America, noting many recognizable features match that continent. Still, the map remains one of history's cartographic mysteries, fueling debate about whether it hints at forgotten sources or is simply a product of early mapping errors. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss any future episodes. Don't forget to share it with your friends too. It helps the channel out, and I'm excited to continue bringing you more awesome content. Beneath West Antarctica's Thwaites Glacier, scientists have found a vast hidden cavity, nearly 1,000 feet tall and covering about two-thirds the area of Manhattan. Once large enough to hold 14 billion tons of ice, much of it melted in just a few years, according to NASA's Operation Icebridge radar data. Thwaites, roughly the size of Florida, already contributes about 4% of global sea level rise. If it collapsed completely, oceans could rise by over two feet, displacing millions worldwide. The danger lies in a feedback loop. As warm seawater penetrates under the glacier, it carves out cavities, which in turn let in even more warm water, accelerating melt. This massive void is located near the glacier's grounding line, where tides drive ice to retreat. Recent observations show that Thwaites has been retreating faster than predicted, raising urgent concerns about its stability and the potential for catastrophic ice loss in the coming decades. In 2017, conservators with the Antarctic Heritage Trust uncovered a 106-year-old fruitcake at Cape Adara, left behind by Robert Falconscott's Terra Nova expedition from 1910 to 1913. Made by the British company Huntley Palmers, the cake was wrapped in paper inside a tin that had badly corroded, yet the cake itself appeared almost edible. Program manager Lizzie Meek noted it carried only a faint rancid butter smell, a testament to Antarctica's natural deep freeze. Fruitcake was a staple for early explorers, not for taste but for survival. Dense in calories, it fueled men burning 5,000 to 6,500 calories daily, especially during the brutal labor of man hauling sleds across the ice. Perished on their return from the South Pole in 1912, this remarkably preserved cake offers more than a quirky artifact. It is a poignant reminder of the endurance and hardships faced by those who first braved Antarctica's extremes. In recent years, Google Earth has sparked both serious research and wild speculation about Antarctica. One viral example came when users spotted what looked like a vast staircase-like formation in East Antarctica, leading to debates about whether it was natural or artificial. Conspiracy theorists claim it could be evidence of a lost civilization or even an alien landing site, feeding into long-running myths about hidden structures beneath the ice. Others linked it to stories of secret military bases dating back to World War II. Scientists, however, point to simpler explanations. The steps are likely the result of natural geological features, ice erosion, or lighting and shadow effects on satellite imagery. In some cases, digital glitches in Google Earth can also produce shapes that appear artificial. While no evidence supports extraordinary claims, such anomalies capture the imagination, showing how Antarctica remains a place where science, myth, and mystery often collide. Do you think the staircase spotted in Antarctica is just a natural formation? Or could it point to something more mysterious beneath the ice? Let us know in the comments below. Beneath Antarctica's ice sheet lie the remnants of ancient continents. Using data from the European Space Agency's GOES satellite, researchers mapped variations in Earth's gravity field, revealing that East Antarctica is composed of multiple cratons, the ancient continental cores that once formed part of Gondwana before it broke apart about 180 million years ago. Study leader Jorg Ebbing of Kiel University explained that Antarctica has long been a geological blank spot, hidden under miles of ice. By detecting subtle changes in gravity, scientists can peer through the ice to the bedrock below. 
The results show that East Antarctica's crust is much thicker than West Antarctica's, 25 to 37 miles compared with 12 to 22 miles, and includes the Moss and Creighton, which matches fragments in Southern Australia. These findings are like discovering pieces of a lost jigsaw puzzle, offering new insight into Earth's tectonic history and how continents form and evolve over millions of years. In 2018, NASA's Operation Icebridge photographed a strikingly rectangular iceberg adrift near the Larsen Sea Ice Shelf. With its sharp corners and ruler straight edges, it looked almost artificial, a sharp contrast to the jagged shapes people usually imagine when they think of icebergs. Sea ice specialist Alex Petty explained that such formations occur naturally. Like a fingernail that grows until it cracks, ice shells extend outward until stress and ocean forces cause them to break along existing fractures. The result can resemble a glass plate shattering, producing remarkably straight lines. This particular iceberg measured about a mile wide, unusual in form but not extraordinary in size compared to others from the region. The same ice shelf released Iceberg as 68 in 2017, a giant covering roughly 2,200 square miles. These tabular icebergs remind us that natural processes can produce not only irregular, organic shapes but also strikingly geometric ones, formations that seem engineered too, yet arise from the physics of ice and ocean. In Antarctica, ice dominates the landscape, so when a massive hole opens in the frozen surface, scientists take notice. This phenomenon, known as a Apollonia, appeared in the Weddell Sea, on a scale rarely seen before, an expanse of open water as large as the state of Maine, about surrounded by solid sea ice. The Weddell Sea Apollonia was first observed in the 1970s, then disappeared for decades before re-emerging in 2016 and 2017. Its return has puzzled researchers since typical Apollonias are linked to winds and ocean currents, but this one's size, location, and timing suggest more complex drivers at work. Such events disrupt the Antarctic system. Exposing deep ocean water to the atmosphere affects weather, ocean circulation, and marine ecosystems. For scientists, the Weddell Paulinia raises pressing questions. Is it part of a natural cycle we've only just begun to track? Or a warning sign of deeper climate shifts in one of Earth's most critical regions? In 2017, the Larsen Sea Ice Shelf shed the trillion-ton iceberg as 68, and scientists from the British Antarctic Survey rushed to investigate the newly exposed marine ecosystem. The seafloor beneath had been hidden from sunlight for up to 120,000 years. The area, about 5,800 square kilometers, may host species adapted to total darkness and isolation. Once sunlight reaches these waters, however, ecosystems can change rapidly and unique organisms could vanish before being studied. That's why researchers are racing against time to explore this rare Antarctic environment, a potential treasure trove of undiscovered life. Antarctica doesn't just reveal climate change through melting ice and rising seas, it also has a soundtrack. Between 2001 and 2007, Douglas R. McKayill, a glaciologist at the University of Chicago, deployed seismometers on the ice to capture vibrations from glaciers and icebergs. The data, though inaudible to humans, revealed the continent's constant activity. In 2017, the Chicago artist duo Luftwerk transformed McHale's seismic recordings by shifting their pitch into the audible range. The result was haunting, cracks, rumbles, and low-frequency booms from massive icebergs breaking away, essentially the sounds of ice in distress. Their installation White Wanderer was staged at Riverside Plaza in Chicago, where the public could experience Antarctica's voice. Listeners describe the soundscape as eerie and unsettling, a chilling reminder of the planet's fragility. Beyond art, the seismic data is a crucial science. Each vibration helps researchers understand how ice responds to warming, revealing both the pace of loss and the growing urgency of Earth's changing climate. Antarctica is the best place on Earth to hunt for meteorites. Since the discovery of the Adelie Land meteorite in 1912, researchers have recovered more than 45,000 specimens from its ice. Scientists estimate as many as 300,000 more remain buried, each a time capsule from billions of years ago. The continent's unique conditions make it ideal. Dark space rocks stand out against the white ice, while cold, dry weather preserves them for millennia. 
Glacial motion slowly brings buried meteorites to the surface, where they can be collected almost unchanged. In 2023, a team near the Princess Elizabeth Antarctica Station discovered a meteorite weighing 7.6 kilograms, one of the largest ever found on the continent. Fewer than 100 Antarctic meteorites are this massive, making it a rare and remarkable find. Studies of these space rocks have revealed minerals older than the solar system itself, and even organic compounds, offering extraordinary insights into the origins of Earth and the potential beginnings of life. In 2012, a Google Earth image from Antarctica sparked online speculation about a strange formation beneath the ice. The feature was described as a massive object, over 14 miles long and several miles wide, with some claiming it radiated light and appeared partially covered by digital brush strokes. This fueled conspiracy theories suggesting a cover-up, ranging from secret bases to evidence of UFOs or ancient civilizations. In reality, there has been no verified scientific evidence supporting these claims. Most experts suggest the anomaly is far more mundane, likely a combination of natural ice formations, crevasses, and digital artifacts common in satellite imagery. The supposed cover-up is generally explained by image processing errors rather than deliberate concealment. While such Antarctic anomalies continue to attract attention online, they remain in the realm of conspiracy theories rather than established science. Standing in Antarctica today, surrounded by miles of ice and snow, it's almost impossible to imagine that this frozen wasteland was once home to lush rainforests where dinosaurs roamed beneath ancient trees. What makes these discoveries even more relevant today is that over the past 50 years, the Antarctic Peninsula has warmed by an alarming 2.8 degrees Celsius, so faster than anywhere else on Earth. This rapid warming raises a profound question. If climate change continues unabated, could we witness the return of an emerald Antarctica? Which of these Antarctic mysteries fascinated you the most? Are you more intrigued by the possibility of ancient civilizations, the discovery of alien-like bacteria, or the evidence of Antarctica's tropical past? Let me know in the comments below, and if you enjoyed today's video, please give it a like, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Your support means a lot to us. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for being with us. Leave a comment, like to show your support, and remember to hit that subscribe button for more exciting videos. See you next time.